Hi guys, we're gonna talk about printing on canvas tote bags today. Printing on canvas can be a little bit tricky because the fabric is rough. It's got little bumps and valleys and holes in it. There's also a lot of loose threads and little balls that I call weevils. One trick to get rid of those is just put a piece of tape on the screen, pull it right off. You'll get the excess ink and those little balls of fabric. All right, so you're gonna to need to make a custom palette because most palettes for t-shirts are too wide for a bag to load into. So even if the pallet's 12 inches wide, if the bag is 12 inches wide, it's not gonna work. You need at least half an inch to an inch of excess space on each side for it to load properly. You do wanna load it because you wanna use adhesive spray to keep it down and in place, stop it from moving around because you're gonna have to usually print. You'll see some kind of defect and have to lower the screen and print again, but if the fabric's moved, it's gonna blur the image and turn into a big mess. If you cannot make a custom palette for whatever reason, you can spray the inside of the bag so that both sides stick together and then put the bag on top of the palette. Try to make sure the, the seam or the top hem or the, the straps, all that part is off of the actual palette. I like to use a high mesh screen so that I capture all the details and I use a hard squeegee so that you don't get too much excess ink coming out the sides. With this type of fabric, if you print too much ink, it's gonna to turn into a mess. Not to mention you're gonna spend a ton of money on ink. It's gonna be really thick and nasty. Yeah, don't do that. When determining the placement for print onto a tote bag, you wanna go slightly above the center line. If you center it, it's gonna to look too low once people put things into the bag. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have more questions, feel free to contact us and um, good luck printing on tote bags.